My name is CW3 Mike Elkins. I'm the senior instructor pilot for uh, Charlie Med. Uh, as instructors, I mean, we, we fly more than anybody else in the company just because we have to progress other aviators or non-ready crew members. We have to evaluate any qualifications we've got to do, so it's just the nature of our job. So I was prior commissioned, uh, I was military intelligence. I was trying to find something new and I went through uh, officer candidate school. Uh, so aviation wasn't even a branch that you could pick. One of my buddies is a Chinook pilot in uh, the Washington National Guard um, and he suggested uh, going to fly. So then I was looking into warrant officer because um, that's what I wanted to do. I, wanted, I just wanted to fly um, and, uh, and here I am. A big part of, uh, obviously, anything that we do is planning. Uh, so knowing where the ground force is going to be at and kind of figuring out routes to and from uh, the landing zones. And then weather plays a big part in that. So being able to work with the, um, the weather personnel to see what they're forecasting, you know, so that we know what to expect. Because there's different systems on the aircraft that we're going to have to use based on, you know, what kind of weather uh, we come across. Once all that's done, um, then we head out to the aircraft and we check uh, the logbook to make sure that all, there's no inspections or anything that we're gonna come across. And the aircraft is, is set up for medevac, so we have the proper equipment uh, in there, medical supplies, litters. And then once that's done, then we run the aircraft up, make sure that it's operational, and then we wait. We're in a rest posture, so that way we can um, get the call and be um, ready to go off the ground within 15 minutes. When you do get a real world medevac, you feel that sense of purpose. Um, like you're actually doing something, you've helped somebody that was in need. Yeah, I like that.